Okay, ladies and gents, today I'm going to take my uh, the shiny red 3D button that I did in my last tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to turn it into a uh, an interesting menu item. Yeah, uh, um, a web menu or a nav bar type thing. In any case, um, the first thing I want to do is um, I already have this on my mouse off layer, which is good. You can see right here, one rectangle on mouse off. I just have the rectangle selected right now. Um, for my mouse off, for my mouse off uh, uh, state, I want to make this look like it's off. And right now it kind of looks like it's on. So I'm going to select my background shape from last time, the, the not the complete background, but the, the red button background. And I'm going to select this fill tool, and somehow that's changed from circular to elliptical. I'm going to change it back to circular. And uh, the first thing I want to do is um, change the, the values for these two buttons. Now I'm going to hit the tab, and now the central color is selected. And I'm going to change this to the second darkest uh, of these uh, linked colors. And then I'm going to hit the tab key. And that selects the outer color of this uh, of the circular fill, and I select the darkest color. Now, that looks like a button, a lighted button, that uh, is not lighted right now. Then I'm going to take and select, drag select all of uh, the round shapes, right? So, so the this uh, the circle and uh, the highlight for it. And I'm going to reduce it down. Actually, I'm going to just type in, I want to make sure that my lock aspect ratio is selected so it stays the same on both. And I'm just going to type in 20 picks here. 2, 0, and press Enter. And now it's 20 pixels in size. Now if I grab that and move it over a bit to the left-hand side, then it's there. OK. Now I'm going to add some text. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a size 20 impact. And I'm going to start typing in all caps. And I'll type the word home. Now here I want to make sure that the left justify is on because I want to make sure that all of my text for every all of these buttons starts from this point and goes out to the right. <clears throat> now that I've written my word, I'm going to change it to my nice dark color as well. Because when I get done with this, this is going to, to look like it's uh, it's brighter as well when, when it's selected. So now that I have those two, I can adjust these. And I hit Control Shift and L to bring up project uh, or object alignment. And actually, I don't want to do that. First, I want to group this. Control G to group that, so everything stays in its same position. And I want to just align the entire button with this uh, with this home now. And if I click in the middle of this, that's not what I want to do. I'm sorry. Uh, horizontal positions, no change, and I want to uh, and vertical positions. I want to align centrally. So if I press apply there, then I am sure that these are perfectly aligned now through the middle. <clears throat> so if I take all of that and uh, group it together, and then uh, press Control c to copy it, and then click on my mouse over layer and make it visible, and press Control shift v to paste in place, I, you'll now see if I expand these layers that I've got a group here and a group here. Now, if you have uh, Zara Designer Pro, uh, you can select inside of this quite easily. And you can pick the shape that you want and, uh, and edit that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit this shape. And for now, I'm just going to zoom in yeah, so I can see it a little bit better. Um, I still have that shape selected, so now I'm going to change the uh, um, 
the, the fill. So the inner fill I want to make quite bright. So I'm going to take the, the second brightest color and the outer fill color I want to make something just uh, slightly uh, lighter than it was. So that's uh, that's quite a difference in, in the color between this one and if I hide this layer, that one. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take and do something similar to my text. Now for the text, whoops, for the text, I could just change its color completely, or I could um, try and do something spectacular with uh, with a fill, um, possibly an elliptical fill where the center was this nice bright color and the the outer was that, so it looked like it was kind of glowing from the middle as well. Um, I probably have to edit that quite a bit, stretch this out so that it looked like it was uh, holding down the shift key so that it gets straight. Or the control key, sorry. So it gets straight. And that way it looks like it's uh, going straight through the middle. Um, and that looks okay. We'll leave it like that. Now that that's done, I want to close that and select. I'm going to marquee select everything. So now you can see that I've selected both the mouse off and, sorry, the mouse off and the mouse over shapes. And I'm going to hit Control Alt G to do a um, a soft group. And you can see two groups make up a soft group. And now that I've created this as a soft group, um, everything is more or less ready for me to turn this into a button. So the first thing I want to do is, with everything selected, uh, hit this, uh, this link key right here. And that's going to bring up uh, the link properties in the web properties uh, page. Uh, and if I just enter any old thing, uh, like a, a pound sign, or hash for those of you in the UK, and press apply, then uh, that should turn that into a link. And if I were to go ahead and export and preview this web page, it's going to be much smaller. Right? When I mouse over it, it looks like it highlights, and the button does as well. So that's my first test. And the next test is, now that I've done that, I'm going to minimize this and go back to page level. I'm going to increase the size of my background a little bit, and I'm going to um, turn this into a navigation bar. Now I want this to be vertical, and uh, top grows downwards, that's good, and I'm going to take off all buttons the same width. And I'm going to place a little bit of spacing in between each, something like five picks. I may, may change that later. And then go ahead and start adding these, right? And if I can do, do as many of these as I want, change what they're called if I want to. But when I press OK and preview this page, you'll see that they're all non-highlighted until I mouse over them. And that, folks, is how you can turn these into uh, your own newly designed navigation bar. And one more tip. What I said before in my previous uh, tutorial about, um, about linked colors still holds true with this. So even all of these colors in here, if I were to drag up my main theme color 2 and edit it, all of those colors change with it. Yeah. So if I want to keep it blue now, do that and preview it, and now 
that are all blue. That's my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And uh, see you again next time.